In its lifetime, an Eldis or Buccaneer caravan or motorhome can expect to be towed for thousands of miles, not to mention being subjected to the rigours of several family holidays each year. For that reason, it has to be tough, strong and durable. It's built to last. So when the company set about developing a new construction process, strength was a key priority. Eldis has pioneered a new technique that utilises chemical bonding solutions. Having worked closely with Henkel, a leading provider to industries including motorsports and aviation, a new solution was devised. Uh, Henkel adhesives and the system specified for the new solid construction offer over 10 times more strength than the standard systems used in construction today. We've gone to experts who are world-renowned experts in chemical bonding techniques and they've advised us on what we should be aiming for to achieve the very best bond possible. A development process of more than three years was then undertaken to ensure that every angle had been thought through and that the resulting product would be up to the job. With the bonded principle, it's a little bit like seam welding the whole product uh, rather than pinning it with fixings. The secret to this technique is the use of a keyway joint, a simple but effective technique to maximise the adhesive area and spread the stresses and strains equally across the joints. The strength really comes from the use of a chemical bonding. Um, we've incorporated a superb jointing system into all caravans and motorhomes. We're so confident in our construction that we're going to try and tow a caravan using the same adhesive and the same joints as we have in the entire caravan build. Here we've got a small box which is effectively a scale model of a caravan in length. So the joints here are the same joints and the same glue that we use in constructing the caravan. What we're going to do is try and pull this box apart by pulling a caravan. Okay, and we're going to do the test with this big twin axle Crusader Cyclone that we've loaded to 1900 kilos. Okay, ready to go? The testing initially was our own test locally. We've done lots of testing at various test tracks. We've done some testing at Millbrook with a, a, a uh, caravan test shuttle which they design. We've tested at Mark Bronn in Germany, again with a, a schedule designed by our uh, chassis manufacturers. And in addition to that, we've gone to the Ford Proving Granite Lommel, where we have pushed the testing further than, be, than, than we've done before, threefold. The testing of our uh, final prototypes was absolutely crucial. Um, we wanted to test where um, large trucks are tested, we wanted to test next to normal domestic passenger vehicles and we wanted to test next to some really serious kit, next to military applications like Challenger tanks for example and if we could come through all of those testing environments again we would obtain reassurance that we were heading in the right direction. The caravan underwent a series of gruelling stress tests over three days to make sure the sealing process developed the maximum strength enhancements. During the test, the caravan is subjected to all the rigours that will suffer during the normal life of use. So, crashing into potholes, crashing over the curbs, uh, corrugations, cobblestones, high-speed motorway running as well. I don't think you can appreciate how, how hard the test is if you've not been and seen it. Every three laps, the, the tow vehicle had to be stopped and cooled down the water. It was that, it was that hard a test. We've tested it to the equivalent of 27,000 miles usage, way beyond what normal test is. This is double the industry standard, as the team was keen to prove that the solid construction system was more than up to the job. We test our caravans fully loaded. Not everybody does. At the end of the process, the caravan was scoured for any signs of wear and tear, but nothing was found to be out of place. The caravan had come through with flying colours, and no adjustments were necessary before towing nearly 600 miles back to the headquarters in the north of England. The caravan was literally good enough to drive away in use. The team repeated the process with a motorhome, this time subjecting it to temperatures ranging from 40 degrees to minus 15 degrees in military grade test facilities. So we've frozen the caravans, frozen the motorhomes and then warmed up again and then repeated that process several times to see if we could fatigue the crack. So uh, at that point we had neighbours such as armoured personnel carriers and tanks. Well, when the test results came back they just exceeded all of our expectations and it absolutely was clear it was the way to go forward. 
but the eldest team still wasn't satisfied. The caravan was then completely disassembled, right down to the chassis, to make sure that absolutely no structural damage had occurred during the testing process. To ensure that the product was 100% repairable, it was then rebuilt piece by piece from the ground upwards. The vehicle's strength had increased off the scale in terms of improvements over previous methods. The levels of deflection and stress loading were both greatly reduced and the tolerances of the body shell were much higher. Due to the bonding process, the roof and floor can be lighter, stiffer and stronger all at the same time. Indeed, the resulting construction has many similarities to that of the monocoque chassis design as often found in modern sports cars. So you get a, a seamless weld almost, making the panels work together and that altogether makes them stronger. It's edging towards a monocoque. And um, what we ended up with is really what we wanted, a stronger uh, waterproof structure. Solid construction is definitely here to stay. From design and testing right through to production, Eldis Solid Construction ensures a stronger caravan at every step of the way. <laughs>